It's midday. I'm Tom Hall. My guest today is John Urschel, whose resume includes great skill and high achievement in two areas not often associated, football and mathematics. Perfect. Thank you. No matter how old I get, I'm always going to be curious. I'm always going to be a learner. And I will always be sort of trying to solve problems. There's something very elegant in the simplicity in mathematics, in the sense that mathematics is this language that describes the world we live in. When I think of Penn State, I think of home. It's a place that really molded me into the man I am today. This is the place where I grew into a great football player favorite memory at Penn State. There's too many. I mean, I can start listing them. Playing in Beaver Stadium, in front of 106,000 fans. Which Saturday? Every Saturday. One great experience was my senior year, my very last football game playing at Wisconsin. I believe we were 24 point underdogs. And we handedly beat them. Intercepted by Penn State and they will secure a winning season. I love playing with every single one of y'all. Yes, hey, 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 this is how we finish. This is what I dream of. But more than that, this is the place where I really discovered that I want to be a mathematician, where I grew into sort of roughly the mathematician I am today. So suppose we have one mass of capital M at the origin, and then a mass lowercase m at a coordinate point x, y, z. I still remember Professor Vadim Koloshin, a guy who really took me under his wing, and he's the reason I'm a mathematician. I remember when I took his class, I remember him coming up to me and asking me to come see him in his office, and him giving me a math book and encouraging me and telling me that I was good at mathematics and I could be a mathematician. John Urschel, what does a mathematician do? A mathematician is someone who uses the tools and language of mathematics to solve problems. At the time when I was entering the draft, so many people were asking me these questions about, does he need football? I remember my scouting reports, it said, we'll be fine with or without football. And at the time, I took it as a slight. Uh, I gotta call an Uber to my next location, but I will figure it out. In hindsight, I have to say, given that I eventually did choose mathematics over football, I think it was quite warranted. We're here for a book signing. The book is Mind and Matter, written by myself. This is about my dual interests in mathematics and football and my journey in sort of discovering my love for both. Black History Month is a celebration of all the things and all of the people who have been involved in a lot of hard work to get to the point where we are today, where someone like me, an African-American, can be treated as an equal in a mathematics community. My upbringing and sort of how I've always learned math has been sort of me in a room by myself with a book in a very personal way. I am a mathematician. I am black. The intersection of these two things is quite uncommon. Much more uncommon than you would expect given the uh, sort of racial demographics of the United States. And it begs the question, why is it like this? This is something that I do believe needs fixing and I want to try to help. I think the single biggest way I can help is by having those two characteristics define me and being present. It doesn't really take much to make a difference.